Received word that the fire started in the basement of the consignment shop off of Neville Street in Uptown Beckley. Now the fire spread to all buildings on this block, and firefighters are facing a slew of problems from the cold winter on the outside to the hot blazes on the inside, and that's just the first of many problems they might face throughout the night. 911 dispatchers say the fire started at 10 after 6 this evening. Two fire departments are on the scene with Beckley Fire leading the way. Dozens of firefighters are working tirelessly to fight the flames, but an entire block of businesses is already ruined by the fire, and there's no end in sight. Wind from the winter weather is helping ignite the flames, so trying to contain the fire spreading rather than extinguishing looks to be the priority. The county courthouse, apartment buildings, and other businesses are only feet away. Officials do all they can, and bystanders are taking notice. Top floor is pretty much engulfed in flame. I'm hoping it's not spreading to the other buildings. Hopefully everybody's safe, yeah. What's your concern for the firefighters? They're doing a fine job. They're a really good group. About a couple hours ago, we were leaving to go down to uh, Johnstown, and this building here had uh, smoke pouring out the front of the dress shop, and uh, just progressed a lot worse. By the time we got back, we're in a full board blaze like this. Just looking at uh, something that's pretty out of control that they're doing the best they can to control. Their oxygen tanks are freezing, so there's going to be a lot of problems throughout the night, which is going to be a very, very long one for these officials. In Uptown Beckley, I'm Aaron Cheslock for Newswatch. Hey there, Sarah. That's right. The celebration is just wrapping up here in Charleston, and West Virginia now has a new official governor. And with the new official governor comes the new official first lady, and that's who joins us here. We welcome in Mrs. Joanne Tomlin. Uh, Mrs. First Lady, what was the overall feeling behind the scenes in the closing hours of the election? Oh, of course, everybody's a little nervous, you know, but uh, I think everybody was very upbeat and very positive. Now, how much can Governor Tomlin actually accomplish in a little over a year? I think he can accomplish quite a bit. I think he has his agenda ready to go, and I, and I think he'll, work, he'll begin working tomorrow. Now, another election sits just around the corner in 2012. How long until you start uh, thinking about the next campaign? Probably tomorrow. <laughs> I think we're going to start tomorrow. Now, a lot of political ads have flooded the airwaves recently, many portraying the other candidate in a negative light. How much of an impact do you think that had on this election? On the other candidate? On either candidate? On either candidate. Well, I think in today's world, negative uh, ads do have some kind of impact on campaigns, unfortunately. Now, this election affected much of the state, uh, even outside of politics. Now that you won, is it worth it? Absolutely. I feel terrific. We're ready to go. I'm a very high energy person, and we're just overwhelmed with the support that has been shown tonight. Our friends here, people who have worked hard for us, and it's just been wonderful. And what do you got planned for tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm actually going back to my job. I've been on leave for a couple of weeks, so I'm going back to Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College to go to work. Final question Do you expect to face Bill Maloney again in the 2012 election? That question I don't have an answer to, but it, there's always that possibility. And there's a little bit of time to that. We thank you very much, Mrs. Tomlin. And that's pretty much sums it up. A lot of celebration going on. It's winding down now, and we'll see what happens in the next 14 months. Reporting live from Charleston, I'm Aaron Cheslock for Newswatch.